Hey, so could you explain what demo we've just been watching? Yeah, so we're looking at the demo where we show uh, the collaboration of a heterogeneous robot team. So it's a, a ground robot and an aerial robot working together on a task that a single robot could not do. So we have a, a mock-up disaster site here where uh, the ground robot should bring a package to a victim that needs help. And we first make a map of the environment with, with the aerial robot so that the ground robot can reach the goal as fast as possible. So one thing is that we rely only on onboard sensors. So when we, for example, have a, a wireless link that doesn't work, our robots will still stay in the air or can drive because all the necessary sensors and computation runs on these machines. So they can just wait until the wireless link becomes uh, available again. And it's all autonomous, so there is no uh, person in the back using a remote control to control all that, but that's uh, really done all autonomously. And what are the biggest challenges in your research at the moment? For, for this particular demo, it's definitely making it robust and reliable enough so that you can show it in a, in a, in a demo, in an, in an event like that, where you have all possible kind of uh, things that can go wrong. And in, in the future, it's uh, extending that demo to more realistic applications. So instead of using a wheeled robot, use a lagged robot, which is also developed within NCCR to go for rougher terrains. And currently, all the obstacles are marked with these fiducial markers. Uh, but we want to use object uh, detectors and do that in a more realistic way. And um, how long do you think it will be before this is realistically able to use in a, in a rescue scenario? So I think we're, we're getting close to that. I think within the time span of the NCCR, we will definitely see some successful field tests in realistic setups. Uh, we, we have seen these amazing lagged robots. We can show that in a mock-up scenario, we can do the planning, we, can, we have the entire pipeline running. So uh, I, I think within the NCCR, so within four or eight years, we will see some realistic field tests of these guys. We, we've looked at our robots, about our flying robots, together with uh, experts from um, the Zurich firefighters. So we, they have a disaster training site in Zurich. We were there, we demonstrated our robots that could reconstruct live, dense 3D maps of the environment. And they confirmed that uh, this could be potentially re really useful in, in real applications. And I think on the level of the entire NCCR, we've talked to many stakeholders and other people in the field. And um, just one more technical question, sorry, these uh, QR code-like things that you have, what are they? So, they're an easy way to tell the robot which is a fixed obstacle, which is a movable obstacle. So we use them to identify that and take away that challenge of identifying obstacles for that particular demonstration. And so, in the future, we would like to use our dense 3D reconstruction and then some detectors to figure out what is an obstacle and what not and get rid of these uh, artificial markers that we have.